cheerleading program in chemistry here at UTEP is a program that is a, it's a mandatory component of the general chemistry courses where students are required to register for a workshop um, and they attend the workshop weekly for two hours and it's run by a peer leader who is their peer, so another undergraduate student, um, where they engage in group activities to sort of facilitate the learning of really challenging concepts in general chemistry. So some of the things we have to do as a peer leader is conduct a two-hour workshop once a week. Some of us have one workshop, some have two. And during workshop, we work with our students and we propose topics to get them talking about the material that they learn in chemistry. Um, our main responsibility is just to get them working on the material, practicing the material, and keeping that discussion going. The way that we interact with the students is we basically go into a workshop setting. There's 12 to 15 students and what we do is we mentor them. We're supposed to be their peers, so they're supposed to be able to approach us and talk to us whenever they need anything. The program challenges the conventional sort of education methods where like I'm the teacher and I'm going to teach you something. Um, it's more of a program where uh, I facilitate learning, so I encourage group activities, I encourage students to interact with each other um, so that they can learn how to master those concepts in chemistry and not just hear it from one person. What I consider my primary responsibility as a peer leader is to create that comfortable learning environment. I think one of the main things that I gain from being a peer leader is confidence. Um, I'm a lot better at talking to people and also working with each other since you work with so many students. You work with about 30 of your own students, but you also see countless number of students during office hours and during lecture. Being a peer leader is very beneficial because you actually get to network a lot with different professors. You actually get to meet other students who are also trying to pursue basically the same dreams that you are. It also helps with developing your leadership skills and your social skills. I think the main academic benefit that I got was time management. Uh, since I started as a freshman, I've really learned how to manage my time from working, being a peer leader, and being a student. And now that I'm a senior, I can see that. Um, it taught me how to study, looking at my students. Uh, in order for me to help them, I try to think of better ways to study and how to manage your time more efficiently. And I've also learned to work together as a microbiology major. We do a lot of group projects, especially for lab, and I've learned to work with the group and kind of take lead. The academic benefits of, of being a peer leader have obviously been that I've, I've built my skills in, in chemistry. Um, so oftentimes like I'll encounter a concept that maybe I didn't master so well while I was a student in the general chemistry course. And then when I find that I'm you know, planning activities for workshop that I realize that, oh, I have to master this even further than what I did when I was a student. And then that of course carries on to my other, to my other courses to like sort of apply those critical thinking skills. I just applied to medical school this past summer and I would definitely say that peer leading helped me get into medical school. During my interviews, I know a lot of the interviewers were really interested on what I did and they were really surprised at all the things that we do. The peer leading program is really, really great for professional development. I think it offers uh, peer leaders a lot of valuable skills um, such as how to interact with other people. Those are the skills that a peer leader is really taught, is how do you navigate the experiences of different people and how do you best get to them um, in order to improve their learning or to improve them, them as individuals. And I think that's a really important aspect of being a peer leader. Thank you.